Hey everybody, how's it going? Um, today, since Zoe and I did our book haul from Christmas, I could finally do my TBR for January. Um, the dogs are wrestling like crazy wrestlers right now. You guys gotta knock it off. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> I look a bit beat. Um, ow. I got my beard caught in my zipper. Ow. Oh, that really stung. Um, yeah, I was like, everything was fine. It was a great morning. Everything was normal. And then I fell asleep in the chair. And Zoe came in and said my name. And I woke up screaming. Um, for some reason. I don't know why. So, well, we are going to hit my um, TBR. So, first off, um, I'm going to show you a book that um, I read and reread and took notes on and read some more um, because it is a book that I uh, have a reason to be reading over and over again. And that is, um, oh, let me try to bring the brightness of my L Telephono down um, because you won't be able to see that. Okay, so here we go. We're back. All right, here we go. Um, Earth Bag Construction by Kelly Hart, um, or Essential Earth Bag Construction, the complete step by step guide. Um, this was really good. It was very um, simple and to the point. And, um, wow, they are really going at it right now. Stop. Yes. You too, Fred. Knock it off. Um, it was a very, I don't want to say it was, um, simple. Like, for a simple person, it was, like, just a very basic step-by-step -step guide, I guess. Um, and the chapters are broken up into different parts of the build, which is nice. Um, there wasn't a lot of information on roofing or on cost. And I understand the reason for both, more so the budgeting and all that stuff, but I was hoping there'd be a little bit more about roofing in it. Um, because that is one thing that, uh, Zoe and I haven't yet fully agreed on. Um, I'm leaning more towards a domed roof and she's leaning more towards a slanted roof. So, um, we've kind of been going back and forth on that. So that was cool. I have another earth bag book and I'll probably read it next month. Um, I might go through this book a couple more times, but again, it's by Kelly Hart, H-A-R-T, and it's put out by um, Sustainable Building Essentials. So that was um, an ebook I read. <clears throat> now, how I'm breaking down my TBR, um, I'm doing something very different this year um, than I've ever done, is I'm putting it together into. Okay. How do I say it like this? When my computer took a shit on me and died, and I had to pull everything off of it to completely wipe the hard drive and reformat it and the whole fucking thing and put a new operating system on it and all that, um, I had to take all my files off my computer. And I saw that in the last five or six years since I've had this MacBook, um, I have collected... Um, if I take all of the comics out and I'm just talking about like books and I have a lot of PDF books too in there. So that is included in that, but it's mainly EPUBs and PDFs. Um, cause a lot, most of you know, like Moby's, you don't like get to keep unless you're friends with that guy nefarious means, um, but, like, I have also, like, spent 
especially 2013, 2014, I was signing up for everybody's mailing list to get a free book and all this other stuff. So I just had loads of stuff. Anyway, I have excluding comics and graphic novels and stuff like that. I have um, 6,000... I think 400 and something. So 6,400 eBooks on my computer. Um, so that is a huge amount. And I really wanted to start making a dent in that. Or even though it's not that much of room, like I got rid of a lot of stuff and I got rid of multiples of things that I had. And a lot of that is for me, like copying files and moving them into different folders and all that other stuff. So, um, that's kind of silly, but, um, so it's about 27 gigs right now. Um, and it was, uh, it was a ridiculous amount. It was a lot more than that um, when I first moved it over from my computer. So anyway, I want to try to start hitting the, some of those ebooks um, and just figuring out if I'm ever going to read them or if I just got them because I was in a collecting mood kind of thing. Um, but there was about a two-year period where... I don't know if I bought any, I, I did, I bought some paperback stuff, but like the majority of the books I got were all ebooks. Like I was like the world's ending. It's a new future, blah, 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 blah. And I went like total batshit crazy and was like, I could have like a million books on a hard drive that could fit in my hand. And it was like, I was like a mad scientist. So anyway, I'm trying to burn through those um, as best I can. Um, I also have um, a lot of audiobooks I got from LibriVox that I've never listened to. And um, I know some people have had bad experiences with LibriVox audiobooks. I have. But there are a lot of great narrators out there who work with LibriVox and put out great recordings. So not every um, audiobook on LibriVox is shit. And you, if you haven't yet um, dug into LibriVox, you really should. It's free ebooks, you know, like, why the fuck not, right? So I have a lot of those, too that I want to um, dig into. And I haven't picked any of those yet because I still have an audible credit from last month that I haven't figured out what I want to listen to yet. So anyway, um, another thing is I have a, a it's actually a lot smaller stack than I thought, but a stack of books that I either started reading last year or like, um, started reading and then forgot about kind of thing. So there's about five books there that I want to get through. And so King Kong is the one I'm going to pick for this month because I really, really want to read this. The cover is so gorgeous. And I read the introduction and I was a little bit put off on the introduction. And I think that's why I didn't, um, jump into it more. And after I read it, I'll talk about why I felt that way. Um, and then I'm going to, um, finish Conan the Freebooter, which, um, has one, two, three Robert E. Howard stories that have been re-edited by All Spring to Camp, but it also has, um, Hawks Over Shem and The Road of Eagles, which were, um, Robert E. Howard stories about other characters and El Sprague de Camp um, changed the settings and the main character to Conan. Um, some of you I've talked to about this. It's been kind of a, a thing for me and an ebook that um, it's a PDF ebook thing. Um, it's actually more of, I guess, an essay. Uh, but I found it online, and um, shit, I can't remember who wrote it. I'll figure that out and um, talk about it again later. 
But um, it's a book about, or a PDF book, ebook, about the controversy over El Sprague de Camp and what, like, the pros and cons of what he did for Conan and the pros and cons of what he's done to Conan, whether it's the bastardization or the, um, I mean, it depends on which camp you stand in. If you feel like El Sprague de Camp um, ruined Conan or if you think he saved Conan. And I think both of those statements could be accurate depending on your argument. Um, but so it talks about that and it talks about how all of the um, kind of pastiche books that Tor put out um, by authors like Robert Jordan and stuff, like how, how those fall in to this kind of menagerie of like people getting really upset, like the fandom freaking out and how it's like, if El Sprague de Camp didn't do what he did, there's a good possibility that Conan would have died with Robert E. Howard. And if it wasn't for El Sprague de Camp trying to make a chronology out of Conan, the pastiche books that came out either wouldn't have been what they were or never would have happened in the first place because most of those pastiche books were made to fill in gaps of Conan's timeline. And so it's just a real interesting thought. And I was trying to figure out if there was another example of this happening because I couldn't, I was trying really hard. So I went to my, um, the group on Voxer that I talked to a few people in. And um, Brit, who changed her channel name finally to Brit the Change, if you're interested in watching her book two videos, um, she brought up the Star Wars franchise and how um, once Disney came in, the Star Wars expanded universe changed to Star Wars Legends or whatever. And, um, basically the new movies have like destroyed like all of the old Star Wars canon. And that is a really good, um, example of kind of what I'm talking about. Cause I, I don't know how I feel because there's times when I get really mad at El Sprague de Camp, and then there's other times when I've read some of his stories where I'm like, you know what, maybe I've been a little too hard on the guy. Um, but then I get pissed off again. So um, anyway, long story short, um, I'm going to finish reading this. The reason why I stopped reading this was because Christmas came and I got goodies. So, um, And then I like completely forgot I was reading this. So there's that. Um, and then for the books I got for Christmas, I kind of want to space them out. So I did read the Raymond Chandler one, but I read that like the day, like I read that Christmas day. <laughs> so it was like, I got it and read it. But um, I am reading Master of Adventure, um, The Worlds of Edgar Rice Burroughs. So I'm going to um, finish this one. Um, which I'm really excited about. And last but not least, uh, I'm going to start burning through this beautiful beast. Um, and I kind of went over this in more detail on the book haul, if you have or have not seen it. But the Golden Age Omnibus Volume 1 of Batman. Um, I don't want to like burn through this to where... Like, I read it, like, and like this week, and I just finish the whole thing, and I'm like, oh, my God. Like, I kind of want to savor this, so I don't know how... I don't know if I'm going to finish it this month. Um, I kind of... 
I don't know. It's just so nice. I love it. Oh, it just makes me very happy. Um, and it's a very fucking heavy um, book, man. So, anyway, so that's what I'm reading. Um, I don't know what I'm doing audiobook-wise. But, um, yeah, so that's that. Um, I would love to know what you think of these and what you're reading. And um, if there's anything you've read so far this year that just, like, blew you away that you think I would love. Um, I would really like some recommendations based on the shitty taste that I have. Um, and I know there's people out there who also like to roll around in the literary dirt. So, um, please give me some ideas if you have any. So, have a good weekend, guys.